the bookshelf is quite deep and holds not only a lot of books, but you could also use uh, baskets or bins to hold things. The refrigerator is um, awesome. It's held everything that I've needed just as a single person. Um, there's a lot of kitchen storage, both in these cabinets and then in the, the doors and drawers under the butcher block countertop. And I've even had a little seating area back at this end where I put cushions. Um, the bathroom has a um, composting toilet, which took a little bit of learning, but I use Coco Core um, in the solid part. And then I have two um, storage containers for the liquid part. And I just switch them out and rinse them with water and vinegar. But there are a lot of how-to videos on those um, that make it fairly simple. The closet also has a pocket door. And I found that using um, shoe storage tacked up is helpful with t-shirts and things. Um, there's also a shelf up top. One of the things I haven't done is install a light. Um, I've used some battery powered ones. And then in this bench down here is where the water tanks are. There are multiple outlets and two on the bottom floor and two in the bedroom loft have USB ports, which is handy. There are also two outlets in the storage loft, so it could easily be made into a reading nook or a little bed area. I've loved living here and one of the perks is a lot of built-in storage. I found other ways to add storage, but the built-in drawers on the stairs are awesome. This light switch controls the loft light, and there is another switch um, by the light fixture next to the window. I like to sleep in complete darkness, so I have blackout, wind blackout curtains up here, and I also tack one up um, at the foot of the stairs, or at the head of the stairs, I guess you would say. I keep a yoga mat at the top of the stairs for my knees. My tiny house was built in Colorado Springs by Tumbleweed Tiny Homes, and they drove it down to Wilson, Texas. That's where it was first located, and I've moved it once to inside the city of Lubbock.